In this Get Pregnant Now quickie, we're uncovering a hidden fertility saboteur most women have never heard of, beta-glucuronidase. Welcome to the Finally Get Pregnant Naturally podcast, the podcast helping women identify the real reasons you haven't conceived or stayed pregnant so you and your partner can finally grow the family of your dreams. I'm your host, Dr. Katie Wood. Let's dive in, shall we? By the end of this episode, you'll know exactly what beta-glucuronidase is and why it matters for fertility, how too much of it can mess with your estrogen balance and menstrual cycle health, and simple ways to support your gut and hormone detox so this enzyme doesn't stand in your way of getting pregnant. So here's the thing about hormones. Your body works hard to make them, use them, but also eliminate them when they've done their job. And estrogen, for example, needs to be detoxified and eliminated through your liver and then carried out through your bowels and also some in your urine. But there is a sneaky enzyme called beta-glucuronidase that can actually sabotage the last step in this process. So when beta-glucuronidase is too high, it acts like a little pair of scissors cutting estrogen free from the package that your liver wrapped it in to basically eliminate it out of the body. And that estrogen then gets reactivated and reabsorbed back into your system instead of leaving the body the way it was supposed to. So the end result of this is it can fuel estrogen-dominant symptoms like heavy periods, PMS, breast tenderness, fibroids, endometriosis, anybody, and even a higher risk of miscarriage. And when your estrogen and progesterone levels aren't balanced, then ovulation and implantation can struggle as well. Where does beta-glucuronidase come from? How does it end up running wild in your gut? If you have an imbalance or dysbiosis in your gut, then the wrong bacteria can begin to take over. Chronic constipation. So if you're not having minimally daily bowel movements, this can keep estrogen hanging around longer than we want. If you have a low fiber diet or not enough cruciferous vegetables, even stress can be a factor because it slows your digestion and detox process. But the good news is you can keep this fertility saboteur in check by supporting a healthy gut function. We want to include fiber-rich foods into our diet, load up on cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, kale, and cauliflower, making sure that you are having a variety of things and keeping it in a rotation, making sure that you are pooping daily, okay, because your bowels are your biggest estrogen exit route. And if you're not pooping, then basically the exit is blocked. Okay. And that's a problem. And work with a practitioner and discuss high quality probiotics and if they're right for you. And you can even run a stool test to see if beta-glucuronidase is out of balance for you and if there's anything else out of balance in your gut microbiome. Because your gut and your hormones are deeply connected and beta-glucuronidase is one reason why you want to keep them in check and in balance. So let's recap what we covered today. Beta-glucuronidase is an enzyme that can cause estrogen to get reabsorbed instead of eliminated from the body. Too much of it can throw your hormones off balance and sabotage your fertility. Focusing on things such as daily bowel movements, a high-fiber diet, cruciferous vegetables, and gut support are your best defenses in making sure that Something like estrogen is being properly eliminated from the body. And so I just want to remind you that your gut isn't just about digestion. It's actually one of the gatekeepers to your fertility. So in order to keep beta-glucuronidase in check, you have to keep the pathway clear so you can then call in the family of your dreams. And I just want to thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a gorgeous day today, and I'll see you on our next episode released every Tuesday and Thursday.
Are you ready to finally discover why you haven't been able to get or stay pregnant? The Ultimate Fertility Blueprint is a quick, insightful quiz designed to reveal your overall capacity to conceive and help you discover potential root causes and areas to address to improve your fertility so you can finally get and stay pregnant. You'll find the link in the show notes. As a quick reminder and disclaimer, this podcast is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for medical advice. Always consult your doctor or healthcare provider before starting any new supplement or protocol, especially if you're actively trying to conceive or undergoing treatment.